Assalamu alaikum with everyone, I'm Hamza here again. Just came to make a little video answering Imran Hussein who deliberately called the helpers of Muhammad Qasim. He said the dogs keep barking and the caravan keeps on moving. These are the actions of a schoolboy, not of a scholar. You don't even know Muhammad Qasim, first of all. You don't know who he is. You haven't, you definitely haven't studied his dreams. You don't know nothing about him. Your entire work is focused on riba, not on shirk. Let me ask you one thing. What is the thing that Allah says that He will never forgive on the Day of Judgment? All the prophets that came, the first thing they sought to eliminate was shirk. And I also wanted to ask you, what caravan are you talking about? You praise the Orthodox Russians. If you want to push the Muslims to join them, let me tell you one thing. There's only one caravan of truth, the greatest of truths is La ilaha illallah. We have to remove shirk in all of its forms. That's number one thing. For those who don't know as well, I am uh, from Spanish descendants. There's this quote in Spanish that says, no despiertes al perro que está dormido, which means do not wake up the sleeping dog. Don't talk about something that you don't understand, that you don't know. Please don't bother to talk bad about Muhammad Qasim. You don't know the man. He's a great man. I've said it before. I keep saying it. I know the man. He's a great man. One of the best men I know in every way. He's a, he's a great human being. And don't put yourself in a situation that one day when the truth reveals, you will not know what to do. So just keep that in mind, my brother see this video answer me I would like to see your answer I would like to understand why is it okay for you to mock a Muslim brother who didn't attack you or didn't do nothing to you I would, I would like to understand the concept but from your point of view since you have so many interesting points of view on Islam so I would like to know I would like to know your point of view and why is it okay to mock a Muslim brother someone that hasn't done nothing to you someone that just shared his dreams why is it so harsh on you I want to understand it so please if you see this video answer me I would like to understand and I would like to appeal to your point of view as well so let me know and uh, uh, I hope that many people also get to see this video, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.